Our sanctification is God's from beginning to end because God is the one who initiates it, uh, who carries it through by the work of his Holy Spirit and who will bring it to completion on the last day. Uh, that's what Paul tells us in Philippians, that God who began that good work in us, he will bring it to completion on the day of Christ Jesus. It's not optional as to whether or not we will finish the work. Uh, God will finish the work. Now, having said that, though, he goes on to tell the Philippians to, uh, to work out their own salvation with fear and trembling, for it is God who is at work in you. So because God is at work in, in us, that's what motivates us, that's what encourages us, that's what strengthens us by his Holy Spirit to engage in the battle. Uh, and, and the battle image is a very active image. Uh, soldiers in battle are not passive observers. They're not sitting there watching life go by. They are as actively engaged as anybody could be in any activity. Uh, and uh, so too, we are called to be actively engaged in our sanctification. It is our great calling uh, to pursue the, uh, the holiness, uh, to aspire to that for which God has called us uh, and to strain every effort that we have. But the progress that we make is not ultimately dependent on our effort. Otherwise, we'd have something to boast in. We'd be able to boast because I'm more sanctified than you because I put more effort out than you. But the reality is that our sanctification is ultimately dependent upon God. He is the one who brings us moment by moment, day by day, who enables us to do those good works. Uh, if he holds us up by his hands, he enables us to stand and to stand firm. Uh, and sometimes he withdraws his hand and allows us to do what we would do all the time left to ourselves, which is to fall flat on our face. Both of those things are for his glory. When he enables us to stand, he demonstrates his power in weak people like us, that he can take people like us and make us stand in the face of the powerful forces of the evil one. And yet if all the time he enabled us to stand, we might easily think that we were stronger than we are, that we didn't really need his help as much as we do. And so sometimes he turns us over to himself, uh, as the Bible says of Hezekiah in the Old Testament. And when God turns us over to ourselves, we fall flat on our faces. And the result is it's in those moments often that we are most appreciative of the gospel, where we most see our desperate need of God, that without the gospel, we could not stand for a minute. And that the gospel is sufficient for really big sinners like us, people who uh, are not strong, who do not naturally uh, equipped to take on uh, the world, the flesh, and the devil, the, the triumvirate of evil uh, face, uh, facing us. Uh, and uh, so uh, it's always the Holy Spirit's work from beginning to end. But the Holy Spirit's work is to stir us and to move us and to, uh, to encourage us uh, to stand in his strength and not in our own.